So whatever type of woodcut you use for your project, there's gonna be different types of grain contained in that cut of wood. You've got flat grain, or some refer to it as face grain. You've got end grain, and you've also got edge grain. What does all that mean? It means that usually the flat grain is gonna be the width of the board that you're using, while the edge grain is going to be the thickness. The end grain is always gonna be the end of the board. Now you'll see lots of cutting boards and things like that made out of either flat grain or end grain. While there's always a battle between which one's best, they both end up to be about the same. End grain cutting boards can be a little bit more knife mark resistant, although they will really suck up the moisture a lot more than a flat grain faced cutting board like this. This is all flat grain. This is the edge grain. And here and here are the end grain. Using flat grain for your cutting board really helps keep the moisture out of the pores of the wood. And the surface is a little bit harder than an end grain would be. This piece contains flat grain. And if I flip it up like this, that's the end grain. You can think about it as if you were holding a handful of straws. The top and the bottom of the straws are exactly like end grain, which means they are going to absorb a lot more liquids and stuff into their pores simply because they just like a straw, the moisture will go right into those straws. But if you take that bundle of straws, turn it on its side, then you have a lot less chance of the moisture getting into your board. You might end up with a little bit more knife marks on a flat grain cutting board versus an end grain, but it's also a lot less upkeep. No matter what type of wood cut you get, whether it's quarter sawn, rift sawn, plain sawn, you're always going to have three different types of grain contained in that one board.